Now, it's been described as midsummer murders with marrows. Yeah, intriguing. Swede Caroline, see what they did there, is a new mockumentary based around the world of competitive vegetable growing, starring Joe Hartley and Ashling B. Yeah, it's got everything. Masked raiders, <laughs> a pair of ineffective private detectives, it's got a kidnapping. It's all set in a sleepy village in Somerset. Take a look. She would have been the first female ever to win in a marriage division. It was clear the other growers were scared of Caroline beating them. We set out to follow Caroline on her journey to Shepton Manor. How were we to know what we were getting ourselves into? They took my vegetables. This is my crime scene, sir. People don't expect private detectives to be funny. I've been shot! What do you mean you've been shot? I can't believe you shot me! I'm quite a big cheese on these encrypted forums. There's nothing here, though, What do you mate? mean there's nothing here? What about the guy from Rotherham? Snooping around the allotments. How are we doing back there, Willie? Soil's very dry, Caroline. Oh, come on! I got him into this mess, Paul. Get off my husband! For all we know, Lawrence and Louise could be dead now! <laughs> Everything was going through my head. I just couldn't put it together. Yeah, I think in hindsight, uh, we probably should have called the police at that stage. You'll never take your life, copper! Well, that sounds very fast-paced, doesn't it? <laughs> it's got everything. <laughs> it has. Well, I'm pleased to say the film's writer and co-director, Brooke Driver, joins us now alongside professional veg grower Kevin Forty, also known as the giant veg man. Welcome, both of you. Morning. Well, Morning, I mean, <laughs> as Ben says, it's got everything. Let's start with you, first of all, Brooke. Why did you choose competitive veg growing as a subject? Well, I'd, I'd read an article. We were looking for a true crime uh, mockumentary caper to write, and I'd found an article about these big vegetable growers, and I just found it fascinating. And so I started making, like, unsolicited calls to, <laughs> you know, current and former world record holders like, like the man sat next to me here, sort of trying to find, find out everything there was to know about, about this sort of crazy world. I like as well, Kevin, that we call you Giant Vegman. You call yourself Giant Vegman, and you've brought in all your credentials right. here. I mean, these are your Guinness World Records. Just talk us through what's here. What did you win these for? Yeah, so that's three of our nine Guinness World Records we've achieved. So yeah. the first one on the on the sofa, we've got the tallest tomatillo plant. Yeah. Um, that measures just over 3.5 metres, and we needed yeah. quite a tall ladder to, to get that one measured. Um, the heaviest sunflower head, so we've broken that twice now. Um, just over 14 pounds in weight, 6.4 kilos. Wow. It needed That's... some supporting on, on, wow. on, on, on the structure. Six and a half and then... kilos, a sunflower head. Yeah, I've, I've seen guys in America, actually, grilling them on a barbecue. Incredible. Oh, right. wow. And then the, the heaviest beetroot, which was just over um, 23 kilos. And this is a beetroot down front in the pot, isn't it? It is, yeah, so that's being so for How does now. that compare? Um, it's probably... I would say it's... The, the other... Our world record be true is probably about eight inches wider in circumference. Right. I mean, that was quite heavy for our, our floor manager team to drag in. It was... You know, that's no mean feat, that. It's giant. Well, I got a call from him earlier being like, I'm in the Holiday Inn, I can't move my beetroot, it's too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I can't help you, mate. <laughs> I was up on the second floor, it was a long way down. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you brought it with you, so thank you. I mean, it does give us a sense of that. And then that massive marrow down the front. Now, we should say that's a prop that's from a prop, the film, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. But tell us the story of this marrow, because that features well, pretty heavily. Yeah, so that is, that is actually Gary the marrow. That is, that <laughs> is uh, the, the seeds from that. Kevin will tell you the seeds from the, the record breakers are important for next year's crop. And it's the, the children of Gary the marrow that actually are stolen go missing, um, and that's, that's what Caroline has to, you know... It's very sort of... lifelike, isn't it? It is. I, I had to carry it on the tube yesterday. I was getting some... Was getting Easier some to manoeuvre than the beetroot, though, I imagine. Yeah, yeah. Kevin, how did you get into this? Yeah, so my dad started off the competitive world of giant vegetable growing in the early 80s, and it's just blossomed from there, really, and my dad passed on in 96, and his memory lives on, mm. and we've got people all over the world now growing. Recently, he was over in Belgium at a GPC event, um, talking giant pumpkins, meeting people online and offline. And just fascinating, really. Travis, who grew the world's largest pumpkin in the US. Incredible. My dad and myself used to carry them in blankets, but now they're carrying them on forklift trucks and huge wow. hoists. So. And, and why do you think people get so competitive about it? I mean, it's a very satisfying thing, isn't it, seeing your own produce grow? But what do you think inspires that competitive spark? I think... 
what inspires the competitive spark is just challenging yourself as a person, getting your families involved from your grand grandmas to your grand granddads and trying to grow something that's oversized. We've been fortunate to secure nine Guinness World Records and it's a massive achievement. But anybody can have a grow. We've got got some secret seeds here. Oh yeah. Um, but it's all about the seeds having the determination to succeed, talking with people, you know, and hopefully with, with this movie, it can inspire community events, get people in communities to start growing, bring communities back together. And gardening is really good for you. It's good for your mental health and your overall health and well-being and it keeps I, you fit. I feel like if I plant these seeds, I'm going to get a sort of Jack and the Giant beanstalk <laughs> kind of going on here. Something's going to still just spring up. But, Brooke, I mean, it's about characters, isn't it? All good stories are about the characters and the people involved. And, you know, it's fascinating. It's, is it a quirky British thing? I mean, Kevin's telling us actually he's taken it abroad. It's, it's, it's not just a UK thing, is it? I think there's something quintessentially British mm. about the, the setting in these sort of big vegetable shows, the country shows. Yep. Um, I think that there's something very relatable. You know, uh, many, many people try growing vegetables, you know, in their, in their veg patch or whatever it is. You know, I, I do, do myself, but like, you know, if, if we're the sort of amateur Sunday league of, of growing, you know, this is the, the, the Lionel Messi of, of the allotment <laughs> sat next to me, you know, and, and I thought there needs to be a film about, about these guys, the elite. Kevin, you say it's the seeds, but what's the secret? I think probably the secret is determination, um, having an understanding partner, um, and really just taking your time, speaking with people um, online, offline, and love. And just, yeah, love just what you said, wasn't it? Yeah, just the secret just, sauce. Just love, really. <laughs> they're, they're like our children, and one of, one of the cabbages you saw there takes, you know, eight nine months to nurture, mm. um, and it's really exciting for me. Just I get a real buzz out of just getting people to grow and getting children involved and getting schools involved and just having fun in, in the process, really. And hopefully we can get you involved, too. Oh, well. Well, yeah, we've got the seeds now. Yeah, so yeah, exactly. There's no we've going got a bit back. of a head start. So if I plant this, what is it? Is this a pumpkin? Um, they're marrow seeds. Oh, marrow seeds. Yeah. There you go. See if you can rival Gary yeah. the marrow. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> yeah. Really nice to see you both. Thank you both, both for uh, coming in to talk thank you. about that.